Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your girl, Kemi, and this is the channel, the best reaction channel, if I might say so myself. Sincerely, KSO. Well, I'm not the best, but I feel good about what I'm doing. So thank you for joining me. Uh, Michael V, a patron to this channel, requested that I watch a movie called Rings. So The Ring, no Rings. The Ring from 2002. And the reason I'm nervous is because I saw the cover. You know, I look up the poster. I don't look up the story. I just look up the poster. And if you type The Ring 2002 on Google, you don't see anything pretty. So, of course, I know it's going to be scary. I'd like to welcome everyone. If it's your first time to my channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. If you are new and you haven't subscribed, you are not a darling yet. Hit that subscribe button and become a darling. So um, you heard me say a patron requested it. That's because I have a page on Patreon. And there are different tiers over there. You get to see the full length reactions of all the movies that I've watched for the first time. You also get cooking recipes. You get to listen to me. Currently, I'm reading the Harry Potter books and everyone's enjoying it. And I hope you join us over there. It's available for all tiers. Now, every tier does have its benefit. Every tier gets a reaction, but the higher you go in tiers, the more benefits you get. The Platinum Honey Patron gets you a film reaction every month. So if you join that tier for that month, you get to make one film reaction request. I want to thank everyone who's part of the Platinum Honey tier, who's part of every other tier for your Patreon, who subscribes to this channel, who leaves comments, send me emails, send me cards. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for making this a really enjoyable experience for me. As you know, I always have water when I watch my horror movies. I have a tendency, and I like to explain because some of you don't understand. I have a tendency to pause, just get myself together. I don't like horror movies. They scare me, and I'm the kind of person that goes to bed and... I have nightmares. So yes, I'm a grown woman and I still have nightmares. It has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with the mind. And until I get over it, it is what it is. So so what I would say is that I'm watching it in daytime. I don't wait till the nighttime to watch it. I'm watching it in daytime. And sometimes I ramble on to calm myself. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm sure I can handle it. I've been doing really well with the horror genre, right? Okay, let me not say too much before they show me something that I won't do well with, but my copy. I, I hate television. It gives me headaches. They were losing like 10 times as many brain cells as we're supposed to. They know about it, but they're not doing anything about it. It's like a big conspiracy. Do you have any idea how many electro rays are traveling through our head? What kind of tape? A tape. A regular tape. People run it, I don't know. You start to play it. And it's like somebody's nightmare. And as soon as it's over, your phone rings. Someone knows you've watched it. And what they say is, somebody from Rivera... Who told you? What's your problem? It's a story, Katie. No, me and Josh, we saw it last weekend. I thought you were with your parents. Uh, I wanted to tell you. You were with Josh? Oh, Some of his friends got this, this place up in the mountains. When we played the tape, the game wasn't there. It, it was... We thought it was some kind of sick joke. Uh, you're just trying to scare me. Oh my god, Katie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's not even funny. It's not funny. What do you mean, like what? Oh my god, you totally did! You a What kind of film is this? What is it? I thought you said you were joking. It really is a tape. I'm gonna turn the volume down. This is so lame. <laughs> Embry Residence. Hi, Mom. Yeah, that was Becca. My mom says hi, she's glad you're here. Ask her why she keeps on liking it. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go to sleep. 
No, I won't. What kind of friendship is this? Bye, Mom. Why you get up and stare at each other? Dude, don't look at it. Becca, quit being a bitch. Where's the remote? You come on again, right? Don't look at it. Don't look at the TV. Pray, pray, pray. Holy water. Becca, quit it! Becca is not there. Something has drowned her friend in the bathroom. I think horror films are better watched with two people. You know what I mean? If you're going to do this, then let's watch it together. Moving forward. I didn't say anything, I just saw the TV. I am being objective. Listen, Harvey. Harvey? Shit! I can't be okay. I'm sorry I'm late. No worries. Call me Rachel. Please, sit down. He certainly is very independent, isn't he? Oh yeah, he sure is. I never have to tell him to do anything. Well, if that's a problem, you'd be the first teacher in history to say so. Find him some good daycare. Uh, no, just that's that. not what I meant. By all means, take your time. I know they were very close. Yeah. Aiden and his cousin. They spent a few nights a week together. Did he talk to you about her death? Well, like you said, he's not the talkative type. But he may be expressing himself in... Other ways. Other ways. Good, other ways. His art, his drawing things. What was he drawing with black crayon? Oh, great. That's his cousin. I'm bothered by these drawings. Death. Listen, I, I appreciate your concern, but my son lost his best friend three nights ago. He's just trying to deal with it. Yes, I understand, but these pictures are... are Aiden's way of working it out. You say she died three nights ago. Yeah, that's right. Aiden drew these last week. Okay. You poke your pencil with the red pencil that you like to. What was he telling the Harvey on the phone? Re Harvey is probably her boss. Or call your assistant because you wouldn't tell your boss you poke their eyes out. Red pen. Last week. Hmm. Should we read something? I'm kind of tired. Okay. Well, honey, I know I've been working a lot. And I'm sorry, but I promise you I'm going to make it up to you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about time before we die. No. No one does. Katie told you she was going to die. She said she didn't have enough time. I met Rachel. Rachel? She called you by your name. Yeah. It's still raining. This is my loveliest weather. I love this weather so much. Why are they making me hate it? Honey! Have you seen my black dress? Aiden? Oh, he see your black dress. It's a little wrinkled. What about her friend? I know people are supposed to pay their respects when people die and you know. I'm so sorry. You all right, Dave? He sleeps all day. He doesn't move. It's too much for him. I spent four hours on the internet and I couldn't find one single case of a 16-year-old girl's heart just stopping. I spoke to three different doctors, and not one of them could tell me exactly what happened to my... She was close with you. 
And Aiden. She confided in you. Yeah, but she never said anything. Nothing that would explain what happened. But you could find out. How? It's what you do, isn't it? Ask questions. I saw her face. I mean, she was a little intense, but she wasn't crazy. So who's in the mental hospital? So what do you think they were doing up there? Me and my girlfriend used to sneak up to my room, get high. It's about the tape. Helen, don't even. What tape? The one that kills you when you watch it. Oh, please. What was on the tape? But Katie told you she saw this tape. Not Katie. I heard it from her boy. She was dating this guy, Josh. He goes to Revere. It was kind of a secret. Kind of? Where is he? Josh, is, is he here? Josh is dead. What? What happened? He was Supposedly he killed himself. The same night that Katie died. Is this the reason maybe that people don't bring children to burials? You know, when I was younger, my mommy never took me to any. Because they feel that the spirit is f fresh and it's still roving, roaming. American films will take the kids to the burial. Let me drop it before I spill the tea on myself. Her room closes. If that room door closes, get out. Leave that room now. What are you doing in here? The thing has stolen your son. Come on. I don't like when small kids behave like this. I could have sworn the picture moved. I'm expecting the face so far. Was that her mom in the magazine that she was scratching the face of her? Because her, her mom is very beautiful, Katie's mom. Mm -hmm. Shelter Mountain Inn. Oh, that's the TV. They were watching TV. The faces are blurred out. Who are the other people? Look at the other two people start to come. 10 p.m. Something Miller. Seattle Post. Oh. I'm Tilly's prick. Oh, is that the Harvey? You're fired. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, what is it? Fine. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> 10 p.m. Shelter Mountain Inn. That means we have to go there. Not me, you. Stop playing this music, please. The violin and giving me the, the bass one. Oof. I like this actress. She was the one who was the mother to the... Uh, I've watched several of her movies. Hi, I'm Take calling. a card. Any card. <laughs> Any card? No. Is there a problem? It's my niece. She sort of ran out on her parents. No. It was nine diamonds. Was it nine or six? Nine. They were in cabin 12. They didn't pay. They had a number of complaints. About the TV, mainly. Uh, reception's never good here. That's why we bought tape players for videos. Mostly they're hand-me-downs left by other guests. Anyway. Mm, see that one without a case. Before I drive back, I'll take cabin 12. Hey, this is your card, right? <laughs> Say yes. That's it. Why would I even want to stay here? Why? Look at it, looking like death. Look 
Girl, you want to use yourself as an experiment. Mm. Fingers, burning bush. By yourself, you're going to school. What kind of parenting life is this? And what does this have to do with the tape? This is the same camera? No, I'll scan the rest. Oh, look, I thought you said this was about a tape. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to watch it. I don't want you to watch it. Look this I'm girl, you're maybe you should see it. Don't see No, I should know more about it first. Well, isn't that why I'm here? So no. you can benefit from my wisdom? No, Four don't kids are do dead, that. Noah. It's from watching the video. No, don't do that. Oh my god. Roll credits. It was very student film. I'm sure it's a lot scarier at night. Did you tell him the whole story about after watching it that the phone rang? Did you? So, you been working a lot? I'm not tired, Noah. Well, like I said, not from Four watching Four people the... who watched it. Come on, we watched it. We're hanging. And this guy, and then I gotta prep this thing that I may not do next week. Noah. <laughs> Would you say that I'm gullible? I ain't much of a dresser. Who made it? Where'd it come from? And do not say your phone. Thanks. I left a voice message. Just delete it. Don't even listen. Yes. I'm not listening to nonsense. She's studying it. What is it? What is this? If that fly jumps out now, I would be so scared. You sure this is a copy? Yeah, why? Same problem got copied, I guess. That's impossible. Hey, Noah, can you pretend for one minute that I don't read Video Geek magazine? VCR, whatever. So the control track could tell us where it came from. But to not have one... But I'm gonna find out. All right, take a look. Looks like she's walking away, whoever she is. No, I mean up there at the top. What? Sorry. Wait, go back. There's something there. Oh, well, you're right. There's more picture. Hold on. I'm gonna stretch the alignment. Keep going. No, 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 let me do wait, wait, it. Wait, wait, Come wait, wait, on. Don't go any further. Get let me do shit. it. Hey, no, I picked up the cameras. They're in really good shape. Did you see the reprints I did with that Guatemala stuff? They came out kind of overexposed. You working? This is a friend, Rachel Keller. She writes for the PI. Rachel, this is Beth, my assistant. Well, I prefer a partner in crime. <laughs> She's a journalism student at Kirkland, actually. Uh, Rachel is researching this story. It's this video hoax. It's sort of interesting. So you know video. Why don't you come and take a look at this thing with the tracking? You know, I'm late. I really should go. Yeah, but why are you taking I gotta go. It's good to meet you. Whoa, you don't want her to see it. What about me seeing it? You had no problem showing it to me. Fuck, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna get all worked up over some high school rumor. It never finishes anything. Then you say, I'm an obsessive bitch. Needs to lighten up. Then I storm out, all pissed off, kicking myself, forever thinking that you could just... 
grow up. So why don't we just cut to that part right now and save ourselves a lot of grief. Under a ladder. Isn't that supposed to be bad luck? There was a ladder? Yes. Watch out, Missy. Bad luck. You don't need that. Too late. What was day one then? I didn't remember what we saw on day one. But day two now is ladder. Then what was in the movie? What did we see? We saw mirrors. We saw a dead cow. We saw maggot, centipede, table, chair. Becca? Becca. She doesn't want to see TV. Do you remember how she died? She told you about a videotape, didn't she? Something was happening to her. Becca, please. I need to know. She'll show you. Who? Who will show me? Four days. Four days. How did she know? How did she know you used three out of your four days? In your home VCRs will give you a tracking window, but they won't let you stretch it. Big box here's a war horse. Totally analog. She'll read. So, uh, what are we watching? Home movies or something? Come on. That's it. That's how far I can go. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Hey, you, you gotta, yeah. No, it's good. Isn't that the woman in the pit something? See her. Why is she the only one in black in that picture? She must have been a witch or something. I'm just saying. Why is she the only one in black? Cousin was two packs a day. Used the patch, never looked back. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a nice day. You too. Mm -hmm. Your face is distorted. Mm -hmm. So even if you didn't listen to it, it still affected you. Jaden for me. Rachel, I don't know. How long are you there? Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> 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 what is that? Rosie. Oh my god. 
been touched by a demon straight from hell. So those were like plugs, you know, because they showed her a vision of her in the psychiatric ward. And, uh, Is he watching it? Oh my god. How did you get it? How did you get it? Who is she, Rachel? Talk to a keg. Believe you. Rachel, you there? Who who was it? Aiden. Our son. Our son. Oh my god. Oh my god. But he saw you in the rain. Why didn't he acknowledge you that day in the rain? He doesn't know that you're his dad or he doesn't just communicate with you. All your biblical names are just in vain. Eh? Noah and Rachel that don't know scripture. You wish I was around more? Rachel and I were... Young. Mom's told me that too. Maybe it was because my own was... Such a... Because I don't want anyone else to do it either. Time to go, Mr. I'm not finished. Noah said to make one for you. Noah said to make one for you. You could almost draw a line through her life. On one side, there's this happy woman who spends her time with her husband. But then one day something happens, and she takes this hard corner in the light. I don't know yet, but I think it has something to do with the horses. You see the ring before you guys. You've already seen it before you in the movie, in the film, the tape. It started the whole thing. Wait! Wait! Richard Morgan. I was holding her daughter. I wonder if she was Our records are private. Oh, she's been dead 24 years. I don't think she'll mind. I've seen him before. I've been up there. Nice try. The record rooms are downstairs, guy. You don't have people just walk into damp, dark areas by themselves. Fly. You two see him fly. Look at that thing she saw from her mouth. Hello? We find out that he killed his wife and daughter. I don't know. I just don't know where this is going. 
horses what made the woman go crazy the behind every horror movie there is an unsolved grievance that usually the deceased or the tormentor has so what is it what did her mother and happen to her mother her mother that that caused this My name's Rachel Keller. I'm a writer with the Seattle P.I. You want to know about the horses? I'm able to find a number to reach. Every now and then a writer comes along. I was hoping you had just a few minutes. Well, work never ends around here, really. What is it you're writing, Miss? About horses in general or just those that go strange? I read you had to put so many down. Most put themselves down. They drown. How'd they get out? They just broke through the fences and ran to the shore. So where are your horses now? That must have been hard. You and your wife. And your daughter? Rachel. Well, Rachel, you want to tell me what's really on your mind? I think it's a message from your wife. Where'd you get that? Shelter Mountain Inn. I got a lot of work That's to do today. A lot of acres out there. You don't want to see this tape? You're not even curious? Curious? I don't think so. Because you know what's in it, right? You know what? Please. Okay. Where's your daughter? You need You take one person's tragedy and force the world to experience it. Then leave it alone. I can't leave it alone. My son has watched this tape. Where are you going? I'll break down this door. You, The police will drag me out of here. Your son is in... Is in danger. You need to get answers. No need for all this patience and whatever. Get what you need to get. Hey, if it was just you, I will say, okay, relax. Your son, your son is in danger. You have no daughter. So who's who's who's? Well, look at swing. You okay? You soon tell me you're the one that likes to swing now, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is a red. Just take the whole file and leave this place. And fertility for uh -huh. 66 conceived. She kept having miscarriages and conceiving 66. Oh, this is actually so video. Mm -hmm. Aiden, it's your mom. Honey, the house you drew for me. Uh -huh. Where did you see it? Why did you draw that house? She told me to. She talks to you? Mm -hmm. No. The horses keep her up at night. It was very dead. Oh. She lives in a dark place now. What did I do? You know. You're getting a little old to be crabbing out there, Cal. Your body's about outlived its warranty, you know. You ain't exactly the catch of the day. Oh, let's see you catch one better. Yeah. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Grasnick. I think he was here before. He's my son's boy. Come over on the ferry, did you? Only doctor on the island. Then you know the Morgans and their daughter. Look, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to say this, but I'm seeing things in my son. That That's why I'm here. He wanted a child more than anything. Poor Anna. And one winter they went away. When they came back, it was with Samara. Adopted, they said. Never did say from where till Anna started coming to see me. Said she was suffering visions. That it only happened around Samara. That the girl put them there. When Darby there was born, we knew something wasn't right with him. But we loved him anyway. I referred them to Eola Psychiatric on the mainland. I assume she's still there. Mean winters. Small halls, no fish. It means ever since that girl's been gone, things have been better. 
Man, we are really going back in time here. Yeah, a lady reception said it should still be here. Should be. You know, I'm not an idiot. You try and walk out of here with my file, and I'll be on you like white on rice. I'm responsible for every file tape in here. I have a system. <laughs> and I don't want anyone disarranging it. I'd never... Okay, hmm? now, man. Does it say who, who was the last person who watched it? Yeah. Richard Morgan. It was you. You piece of shit. He's going to the lighthouse. He's going to the island. A tight family. Everyone in that community. They're in cahoots to whatever happened to that woman and her daughter. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan? He's going to come from behind and knock you out. Why did he put himself as single? <laughs> SM15. This is SM0015, Samara Morita. So what is it that's keeping you awake? Samara? Samara? How did you make these pictures? I see them. And then... Samara, I need you to start telling me the truth, okay? But you don't want to hurt her anymore now, do you? You don't want to hurt anyone. It won't stop. Well, that's why you're here. He's going to leave me here. Who? Not Daddy. Your daddy loves you. Oh my God. He wants me to go away. He doesn't know what. She's never gonna whisper in my fucking ear ever again. What did you do to her? <laughs> she was your daughter. Girl, can't you get, he just hit you. Would you get, why do you have electricity all over? What is going on? You want to electrocute yourself? What is happening? In your sleep, even the damn horses. Mr. Morgan, come out of and there. those pictures. She's still showing them. This will never stop. Please, I have to stop her. If I don't, my son will die. Wait, no. going crazy alone not alone there's something under here it looks like it's etched into the wood the tree the tree, like, you know, the burning tree that you see. You saw in the video. I've seen this tree before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was on the tape. The sun came through the leaves. Right when I watched the tape. To where we started from. Well, something led us here. The tree, the drawing on the wall. It doesn't matter. You have to help him. What are you talking about? Aiden. It's 
up to you now. Just use the time you have and figure something out. We're gonna figure this out together right now. It's too late, Noah. Stop it, okay? There's a reason that we're here. What? I don't know, okay? But it's something in this room. I, I mean, it's in the television. Come on, call us now, why don't you? Doreen, it's a pain you come into hotel rooms. Look at, look at, look at the head. Hygiene, the old, everything. You don't know if they've... Water is coming. She's coming. Don't tell me those are broken nails. Did he throw her in there and she tried to claw her way out? Those are nails. Jesus Christ. Noah? Noah? Noah! <laughs> the water will start rising. Answer him so he stops screaming, girl. It's over. She wanted that job more than anything in the world. Sometimes children yell or cry or draw pictures. Imagine being stuck down a well all alone like that. Seven days. Mm. You could survive for seven days. Call me sometime. Unless you're renting a movie. Call me tomorrow. And the day after that. Rachel? It's either really late or really early, depending on how you look at it. Not today. 
If you notice how big Samara was and compared to Rachel, who was so tiny. Is she still in the dark place? No. We set her free. You helped her? Yeah. Why did you do that? What's wrong, honey? You weren't supposed to help her. It's okay now. She's not gonna hurt you. She... What does this mean? What does this mean for goodness sake? Get out of the house. Get out of the house. Oh, wow. Well. Come on, pick up. That's the well, right? No, don't look. Don't look, don't look. What did we do wrong? Did her mother kill her on purpose? Her mother killed her on purpose for the tournament. Go, 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 go. Come on, Noah! Pick up the goddamn phone! No one is dead. No one is dead. I thought we helped you. What in the world? I thought we helped you. I thought we helped you. Why are you doing this? It is better to pass out. Please. We helped you. Didn't we help you? Didn't we help you? Oh God. Oh God. Set her free. You helped her. What is going on? Why not me? So what? Her? He wants me to go away. Spread it like sickness. You don't stop. She wants you to tell the story. She wants you to that everybody to see it. Sweetie, you're gonna be okay. What about the person we show it to? What happens to them? You have to be crazy. You're really crazy. You are you serious? 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 No, this doesn't make any sense. I'm I, I'm so mad. What? Are you kidding me? They made copies. But you see what the father said? The father said that something she was doing, the daughter was doing. You know what I mean? Something must have happened with her own conception because it was 66. You know, the dev that devil sign there was like 66666. And that was the one that birthed Samara. <sighs> that was the one that birthed Samara, right? And it birthed Samara. So Samara was born evil and began to torment the people that were around her. So there wasn't anything that her, her parents were actually innocent. Her dad was innocent in this thing. He must have noticed that he was when she was in the house, a lot of things, the wife got sicker. And when she was out of it in the barn, the wife got better. And that's why she, she kept torment. So it's not as if there was anything. They, they, they ended her life because of the torment they were experiencing within the household at her birth from the moment she was born. 
maybe she was one of those children who used to see things like to kill animals like to, you know i don't know who knows why she's the way she was i actually thought maybe the grievance of her mom killing her maybe she was a sick child or she was like a child going through something and then her or her parents didn't have the tools to deal with her mental health crisis i don't know like at first i thought she she was innocent but if this is what she's doing she left the one alive who could duplicate who could make copies who was useful to her to spread the message so she can get as many people as possible but what's she using them for if she's capable of coming out of the tv into reality what is she doing is she taking their flesh and becoming more whole so she can walk around walk you know with the human is it going to resurrect <laughs> like i don't get it and they couldn't really pinpoint other than the video saying oh i like doing it i like doing bad things they couldn't really pinpoint why what happened this child was just born evil it's like a cycle there's nothing it goes back again and there was nothing nothing they did to her the father's torment was that like he said he made a copy and he wanted to destroy every copy and he couldn't and he's like i'm tired of this so when he saw the video and he had he asked did you make a copy he said, so he knew that she would definitely survive you know what i mean now rachel will survive because she made a copy but it wasn't really you know yes there were jump scares but it wasn't like I didn't see any the you know, way they stabbed through the gory. So this was okay. This was okay. I just want to catch up with the storyline. How do you understand it? Because th these people did nothing to this girl. Yes, they threw you in the well. But if you're tormenting there's someone with their spirituality or your kid, you know, they, they threw you into the well. You The torment had already started before the mother th did that thing. The mother said, I wanted you so much, but apparently you are a killer you are visiting you know what i mean you're doing things that are hurting people and i can't let you continue that's why the mother threw her in let me know let me know michael Ugh. on to the next